Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. The show opens with Tinsley getting a text from the guy that she met at the party last night. Oh my God. I don't know what is going on with Sonya, but um, she really on one. Like, like I, I, I mean, I, I ain't never seen this. Bethany goes to Sonya and is like, girl, girl, you gotta cool it. You gonna bust your head open. Maybe it is time to get this heifer some help. So they didn't talk Sonya into going to this meeting. Oh! Meanwhile, at breakfast, Ramona comes up talking about Brett and Tinsley said, off fucking limits. He texted me, we're not doing this. I see how y'all be sharing dick, hun. I ain't the one. I ain't the one. Oh, God. So now we're seeing Ramina sucking face with Harry Dubin on TMZ. So Luann now has a problem with the outfit Sonya gone wear to the meeting and Sonya said, well, look, I came with stuff for a luxury vacation. I don't have a Dowdy Alcoholics Anonymous meeting outfit on me. Sorry, sis. I, I think she looked fine. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Barbara. What the fuck? Don't you ever, as long as God gives you breath, come on camera without a full face of makeup. Oh, you don't even look human. So Barbara pipes up and says, uh, none of y'all talking to me. And then they all tell her it's in her head and it's self-fulfilling prophecy. No, no, y'all don't give a fuck about her. Like she's not gelling. It's just not working. They're not using her. So Ramina and Bethany are saying she's got negative energy and she's a Debbie Downer. I don't see it. I don't see it. I think that, I think that it's just awky boo, but I wouldn't say it's negative. Oh my God. This heifer is not crying. If you guys want me to go home, I'll go home. Okay, I think she overreacting a little bit. Like, this is not necessary. And also, I would just leave. Like, I ain't gonna say if you want me to go home, I'll go home. If I feel that, then you want me to go home. And I'm gonna be like, you know what? Let's pick it up back in the city. I'm a little off. You know what? Maybe it is me. But uh, yeah, we, we gonna do this another time. Bethany said, look, start talking to people and get in the game. And she right, she right, like... There you go, like, okay, I'm, I'm talking to Bethany. Let's see, maybe maybe we can hang out. I, I, I'm a builder, Bethany's into real estate, maybe we can have something to talk about. Um, you could talk to Sonia about all the money you have and she doesn't, but there's not much there. Ramona ain't shit, you could always pick at her. And then uh, you fuck shit up with Dorinda, like honestly, you needed to go back and apologize to Dorinda and get her back on your side so you'd have like some kind of ally. You know what, Barbara, you could try to, um, Tinsley, you could try to get with Tinsley too. Hell, she's so damn desperate, you could probably marry her ass if you said I'll put a baby in it. So of course the girls do what? Go out for drinks by a pool, even though everyone's seeming to have alcohol issues. Sonya ain't really feeling that meeting. So they get back from the meeting and Luann's up there giving a cabo-woo, cabo all, cabo uh. So Sonya comes back and she's jumpy, she's jittery. She acts like she just snorted some bad shit. Everything's wet, what's going on? There's sand. What the hell? Sonya starts talking about feeling sorry for people and her daughter's father is so old, he's not gonna be around to fill in the gaps. Honey, your daughter is grown as fuck. As fuck. Okay, so Dorinda says Luann is being callous trying to go to the damn beach. I think she was just trying to like do something to cheer Sonya up and distract her. I mean, you're going back to the rental. It's not like you're going back to her house where she can really feel comfortable. So I, I don't, maybe the, uh, the ocean would have done her some good. Always does me some good. Well, Luann go to the beach by her damn self, so she ain't shit. So we back at the house making crab cakes and they forgot the fucking truffle fries. I know I'd be pissed. Oh God, Luann goes to visit her poster. Yeah, she, she really into her. 
So without Luann, Barbara starts to bond with the group, but they're all bonding over Luann's shitty behavior. The girls have massages booked, and Barbara said, you know what, I'm gonna take Luann's massage since her ass ain't here, no way. Luann comes back in the house and everybody just scares. Nobody wants to talk to her. Oh my God, Luann. So she gets back to the house, and Sonia says, you know, I was, I was really fucked up after that meeting. I would have liked to have spent some time with you. We miss you at lunch. And Luann was like, well, you were fine in the car, so I don't know what all the histrionics at the hotel were, but I really wasn't in the mood. Now, Sonia, you shouldn't have gone. You let their ass browbeat you into going. Luann tried to get you to go. You didn't want to go. You knew it wasn't for you. Bethany said it, and you're like, okay, well, maybe to shut him up. But you shouldn't have gone because you know it would have upset you. Luann, pouting that she didn't have a massage table in her room, and Tinsley goes out on a date with Brett. Oh, God, Tinsley on this date, oversharing way too much, just no, no. You already talking about babies on the first date? I know he rolling his eyes. So the girls go to dinner, but Luann is running late and Ramomo gonna stay back with her. So they spying on Tinsley's date, she hugging and kissing him and they happy for her. So Luann shows up whining about trying to sneak in a massage and that she wasn't first for hair and makeup. I mean, somebody gonna have to be last, so that's okay. Dorinda like, look, you can order a crab cake, but uh, you still ain't get us our truffle fries. She is sorry, cause I'd be pissed about them fries. That's why you gotta check your order before you leave. And do it with a side, mm -hmm, making sure you want your shit. And now starts the shit. We're 47 minutes in, we've got about mm, one more commercial break to go, maybe two. So we gonna get what? A good eight minutes of argument. So Barbara's letting Luann know, girl, I was there for you, but today for something minor, you couldn't be there for me. Out here saving you $6 million from buying dumbass houses. Luann decides, well, let me go on and give you a hug since that's what you wanted earlier today. And everybody like, eh, I mean, you can, but let her finish her statement. Don't, you know, cut her ass off at the pass. And I think that's what she was trying to do. And so Barbara continues and she said, my relationship with you is more important than your relationship with me. And all the girls are like, mm-hmm, say that sister, word, preach, yes. Everybody was in unison, honey. She got her tens across the board. So Tinsley pipes up and she's like, you know what, Luann, you don't stand up for her, but she stand up for you and she's your, <laughs> and then Luann said, wait, excuse me, I'm sorry. I I don't speak drunken slur. And everybody looks at Luann like, now girl, now girl, you are sober because it is court ordered, ordered with your drunk ass. And now Bethany is going off. You're insufferable. Luann, you really can't see your own shit. Ah, uh, yeah, Luann is definitely using sobriety as a crutch. So Bethany calls Luann's bullshit. She is dining out on this sobriety. She is using it as a crutch, as a plot line, as everything, as her new personality. But I also feel like if this is somebody with a real drinking problem, they're gonna go through a lot before they can be a normal sober person. Lord, Bethany has had it. She said, I did your intervention while my boyfriend died of a drug overdose and you have not checked in on me. And, and I think this is real. I think that this is absolutely 100% real. But I also think y'all are expecting too much of Luann. I don't think that she is able to be there for anybody but her right now because she's struggling with an addiction issue. Cabaret, cabaret, cabaret all day. Cabaret, cabaret, cabaret all day, all day. Cabaret, 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 shimmy. Life is not a cabaret. Wow, Bethany, yeah. I low-key feel like nobody's really been checking on Bethany and she's got this horrible divorce. Then this guy dies. Like she is really going through. What the fuck is going on behind the scenes? Honey, Luann has the look of, oh, you done told all my business. She knows all the business. All the business, all the business in my Jay Lee's Corners voice. All the business. Ooh, ooh, honey. 
That is the look on your face when somebody done told your true tea. True tea. Oh my God, she got Luann free rehab, free rehab, and she left early for cabaret. Oh my God, Bethany has had it. Wow, Bethany has been a real friend to this woman. Oh my, I gotta rewind this, honey. This is the most interesting two minutes Housewives has brought us since Pillow Talk. And I wanna know about how she got in the car and almost killed her friend. I want to know about that. Oh, my God. Bethany has the tea. Ooh, I, I mean, like, all we're getting is a sip, but it's so delicious. I am so mad we're not going to get all the tea. I am so mad we're not going to get all the tea. I, I'm going to have to go, like, look at the interviews and shit. Honey, New York has popped off. These white heifers is bringing it. Oh, Dorinda is just like, mm, I am loving this. And for once, I'm not the crazy drunk person screaming. And Dorinda feels all of this in her soul and her spirit. But she's like, you know what? It would never be received from the audience from me. Bethany had to do it. She is loving this. So am I. Bethany is just breaking the fuck down, and that's where the shit ends. Now, you know what they said to be continued, and I always cuss them out, but this week, that was so good. I'ma give it to you. I'ma give it to you. Ooh, girl, honey, I got my life. My life, my ever-loving life. Oh, that was thorough. Ooh, brava. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be 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 my ass. I want you to be my ass. Okay, she got a hit with that one. Oh wait, no, that was me. That was me. Anyway, it don't matter. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.